And this is a big CNN News 18 exclusive. Pak Prime Minister Shahbaz has invited ousted Pakistan Prime Minister Imran Khan to an all-party conference. Prime Minister Sharif summoned the all-parties conference on key national issues, which will be held on the 7th of February. PMLN leader Ayaz Sadiq has contacted PTI's Asad Kaiser and Parvez Khatak to send the invitation to the former Prime Minister. An official statement said that the Premier had decided to invite the political leaders of the country to sit together to find a way out amid the prevailing security political situation in the country. This comes after the stri stringent conditions put by the IMF visiting the team. Now, CNN News 18 reported earlier that IMF wants all opposition parties to be on board before bailout package to be released. IMF says conditions are stringent because it involves price hike and may not suit political opponents of the ruling government. Now, this is an important update that, that's coming in from the neighboring country and this is a CNN News 18 mega exclusive the Pakistani Prime Minister Shahbaz has invited ousted Pakistani Prime Minister Imran Khan to an all parties conference. Remember, uh, this meeting comes at a time when uh, there has been an economic crisis in the country. To give us more details on this, I am being joined by my colleague Siddhant on the phone line again. Uh, Siddhant, this comes amid economic crisis at a time when there is political turmoil as well. Give us more perspective, please, about what this all-party meeting and conference is slated to achieve. Well, look, Vinaya, uh, the economy of Pakistan is in doldrums. And in fact, uh, the IMS teams are doing review meetings every day in Pakistan. Now, what IMS teams want is that all parties should unite so that if tomorrow IMF requires some kind of conditions to be implemented in the Pakistan, then they can get law passed from the parliament. No opposition party should oppose the conditions of the IMF. So this is what IMF wants. Shahbaz Sharif also wants the same because if that happens, then all political parties will come on the board and dissent against his government, opposition against his government, will be brought down uh, through this. But it looks like that the political parties in Pakistan are adamant and they are not ready to uh, to come on board with the proposal of IMF, uh, which is being led by Shahbaz Sharif. Uh, so this time around, we're getting this confirmation that Shahbaz Sharif has, uh, has invited all parties uh, to come and uh, for the discussion as it is a key national issue. Also, Imran Khan, a chairman of PTI, Imran Khan has been invited to be a part of a meeting. Because look, it's a very critical situation for Pakistan and Shahbaz Sharif both. Because these, this, in, uh, this ninth installment from IMF is going to save the country. They don't have any other option. And this time around, the conditions are really strict. Uh, in fact, uh, the conditions say, uh, say that government should impose a defense cut. Government should also levy more taxes, increase the electricity and gas uh, prices. So all these conditions are going to save the country. But again, if Shahbaz Sharif government imposes it on its own, then the opposition parties will make his political situation weak in the country because inflation will uh, grow and, and, and his political situation will become even more weaker when elections are around the corner. This is perhaps the reason that IMF has come to a conclusion that let's get all political parties on board so that if they want any condition to be imposed, uh, imposed in Pakistan, then they can get law passed from the parliament. So that will make work easier for IMF and Shahbaz Sharif both. So right now, for that purpose, only this conference has been called in. And in fact, um, let's see uh, uh, how this conference uh, turns out, uh, whether these opposition parties, including PTI and the other parties, are going to support the government, are going to accept the conditions that have been imposed by IMF or not. Because this is the last ditch for Pakistan. This is the last opportunity for Pakistan to save the country because nothing is left. The industries are shut. The economy is in doldrums. The currency has depreciated uh, 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 drastically. Uh, 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 the, the foreign nations which used to help Pakistan on the name of war on terror have stopped their funding. The only ally which is helping Pakistan right now is China and Saudi Arabia. But that money is not sufficient to run the entire country. So this IMF bailout is very important for Pakistan 
to sustain or at least for an, uh, for uh, for one more year and this is the reason that this ninth review is going on almost all of their conditions have been accepted but yes as far as levying taxes and other conditions are concerned so that other political parties uh, have to come on board because for that i know want the law to be passed because such conditions cannot be imposed uh, merely on the basis of an ordinance or or a government gadget and i am understand that so i must is in a way putting pressure that uh, that all political parties should understand the situation and they should give consent to imf uh, to go ahead so for that purpose only this meeting has been called in by shehbaz shahid back to you oh well this is an important development and this is an exclusive input that is being brought by our investigations editor manoj gupta uh, if i may ask you another question siddhant clearly the imf seems to make it clear to the political parties there to the ruling party there that they will need consensus between all the parties especially on the stringent norms that will be put forth what are some of the other stringent norms that the imf uh, plans to put forth in front of pakistan for which it feels that political unison is essential well look you know whenever uh, any foreign body is dealing with uh, with with any sovereign country then mostly they rely on the government which is in power like even in, in case of india we have a stable government stable economy so international bodies are happy to trust uh, our government but in case of pakistan you know that, uh, that the government is unstable uh, economy uh, is cash strapped no money is left so imf is not ready to uh, to uh, to in a way accept what government is saying they want proper arrangement to be made before the funds get dispatched for the for pakistan so when if shahbaz sharif tells them imf that okay fine we are going to do this we are going to accept every condition of your we are going to increase taxes we are going to uh, uh, increase the price of uh, gas and electricity but imf teams are not ready to uh, to uh, to go by what shahbaz sharif or his government say they want proper arrangement they want to see the arrangement whether all opposition parties are supporting uh, uh, shahbaz sharif on on this issue are they going to uh, give consent for the condition that have been imposed by imf so imf wants that level of clarity uh, for uh, before dispatching the ninth uh, installment because last time around also when the installments were given to pakistan imf teams were disappointed with the way money was used and in fact in the in, in the fresh financial report which has been uh, which has been made by uh, the shahbaz sharif government it highlights that how imran khan's government was involved in man handling of the funds which were given uh to uh, pakistan by imf so this time around imf team some more cautious they are more careful and this is the reason that they want all political parties to give their consent and they want a road map a road map which cannot they, they they cannot be a u turn from that road map for any government whichever government comes to power in pakistan if tomorrow shahbaz sharif government falls and some other government comes in the power then that government also have to uh, abide by the conditions that have been imposed by imf so that level of arrangement is something which imf is looking at right now and this is the reason that you know they are spending time in islamabad mm -hmm. in eating going mm -hmm. to meet the opposition parties also mm -hmm. and in a way mm -hmm. making them clear the look we are giving funds but at the same time there is no u turn from the road map that they are going to make for mm -hmm. for pakistan mm -hmm. so yes uh, that is mm -hmm. going to happen so dhan thank you for all that